Hello and welcome to another bootleg LEGO review. Today is Boshi set of Iron Man and Extremis. Uh, you got... Uh, uh, I can't remember how to pronounce his name. Um, Aldrich, you got Killian, uh, War Machine, and of course uh, Mark 42 Armor. I will be comparing this to the official one. Uh, just to get back of the box, it's pretty much the exact rip of the official one. And uh, one to one scale image on top, of course. And a uh, genetic warning at the bottom, and an image of the set at the bottom right there. Inside, you got everything in just different bags. Uh, there is a uh, sticker sheet. Zoom like that, which looks pretty much the same as the official one. A uh, comic book that's uh, in really good quality, almost pretty much better than the. Uh, Official Lego quality. It is a bit crunched up, but uh, mm, paper is definitely a better quality than the official one. And also the instructions manual, which uh, is hugely compressed from the official one. It's just one big piece of paper. And uh, I already talked about all the Boshi instructions in previous Boshi uh, reviews. So that's that. So on to the actual set. Uh, Zoom out. Some of you might notice that the floor isn't black anymore on the stage. That's because it got quite annoying. Um, I just use a hard surface. It's way easier to uh, reveal the thing. That's the official one, by the way, not the leg. Here's the leg. Um, <clears throat> there shall be light. Ah, uh, there we go. I might have the mistake of that one. I should we do that a little bit? I can't be bothered, I just leave it like that. Uh, yeah, um, colors are pretty much identical. Uh, of course, I didn't apply the stickers yet. My stickers coming off. That's not good. Oh, Lego stickers. A lot more molding marks on here. You see these than on the official Lego one. And uh, this one like goes quite a lot easier, pops off a lot easier. Whereas uh, the bootleg is like, well, it still comes off, but uh, slightly differently. Also, the transparent red is very different. Transparent red. This one's more crimson. This one's just kind of like pinkish. And of course, just like all Boshi sets, everything's very squidgy and hard to build, and your hands will hurt in due t in due time. Uh, here's the uh, vehicle. Zoom out. Light on that. Uh, it looks pretty accurate. Um, here's the uh, official. You can see again the colors are spot on, even the yellow. The previous other two sets had really bad yellow. And um, yeah, the inside looks pretty much the same. Uh, the helicopter set had slight differences. Hmm, forgot I can hook stuff there. Um, the bottom is again pretty much the same. Uh, oh, I forgot about these little dots on them. Should be there. Hmm. Which was in the instructions manual. No, I think those are just extra studs I put on the uh, this one because there's always extra plastic. Now the thing is, this one does have a cannon here, and with the official one, you're supposed to just like hold pull these down and it'll fire, and it kind of fires, but. Uh, is uh, really lame to be honest, uh, but I'll stick those back in. Uh, with the bootleg, our bulky stuff is uh, very tight, so, um, so you just sort of like. And as you can see, instead of pulling the cannons out, it just fired the entire back out. So uh, the toy playability function is non existent, it won't work properly. Um, gonna be... Jesus Christ, this is gonna. Uh, this isn't going to fit back in, is it? Come on, come on, get back in. And the rest of it's falling apart because it just can't do it. <coughs> this 
sorry about that. So just going to quickly reassemble the back. Oh, that's why I put on the wrong place. Uh, well, at least fixing it wasn't too hard. And finally, we've got the three minifigures that I'm going to compare now. Uh, we've got Killian, of course. Uh, the official Lego one uh, is meant to be glow in the dark. See here, it's like slightly glowing greeny. Because the blue leg is just white plastic. Printing is a lot darker as well, um, the lines are a lot thicker. Wrong colour here, but uh, it's odd that the, the print on the face is the wrong colour as well, so on its own it matches. Uh, back, crazy blood filled face, he's going to blow up or something. Boshi has no back face printing, does have a back print on the body. Uh, just the same again, the lines are thicker. Um, by the way, I have stored all the spare pieces in here, so I suppose, this is like a spare piece storage, put the back for the uh, little exhaust stuff of dynamite which is supposed to go in there, and the back piece for a war machine. So you do get those there, those are not missing in case you are wondering. Uh, war machine, here's the official, just get the uh, back piece. Uh, yeah, printing is uh, pretty sharp and spot on for the bootleg. Uh, see his eyeliner is slightly darker. Um, now, no, it's it's spot on. Uh, no misses anywhere. But again, the color is a teeny bit different. And here's the back. Um, it's like looks like some some glue on it. I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, way more shiny the uh, official one. The official one again has double face printing, and the bootleg doesn't. Some weird shine on his face, actually. Hmm, what is that? The bootleg head almost looks like it's got a extra layer of plastic on top of his face. It's weird. Maybe it's to protect the print or something from being scratched off. They put an extra layer on it. I'm not sure. It's it's weird. It doesn't affect the size of the head, so it's fine. Like it doesn't. It won't get stuck in this helmet, thankfully, but uh, it, it's there nonetheless. Okay, and finally we have uh, Iron Man. Uh, you can see the gold is hugely different on the helmet. Gold hands are also different coloured. But uh, the body print is uh, spot on. I think the plastic is slightly different coloured. Back to very, very accurate. Uh, but he does have a, a really loose leg. And by the way, if you're wondering, inside Boshi looks like this. Very body is different from the Lego, and legs are the same as Lego. The hands are different from Lego. They pretty much use a standard bootleg kind of joint, where it's just two pegs. But uh, Boshi ones are a lot longer than, say, uh, Diku or Shingyuan. So in in a way, they they stay on their body a lot better because there's more plastic inside the, the body, so it won't fall off as easily. Uh, so yeah, that's the Boshi set for Iron Man and War Machine, the boat chase. Is it a good replacement for the price? It's it's pretty decent. Uh, if you want a purely cosmetic uh, replacement, then it's fine. If you want any playability, there's like extra, just like the cannons, that doesn't work. But uh, the official set didn't have that many, uh, you know, special functions anyway. Uh, at least the other one works with the... Uh, the red sort of water piece sort of falling apart that works fine so that that's okay in a way but uh, yeah it's 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 good that the color is complete and because it isn't that big of a set it's quite small uh, the building isn't too much of an issue uh, instructions are simple enough even with the compress uh, and simplified pages and, and the stickers seem of uh, good quality so so here's the thing, if you don't care about the firing cannons and you're not too bothered about the secondary face or the glowing head then this one's okay. So if you lose a piece it's kind of okay to go with this one. Or if you just want more boats for some reason. It's uh, it's probably uh, my favourite out of all the uh, bootleg Boshis. 
uh, Foshi sets because the other ones really annoyed me. So subscribe to Justin, comment below and of course take care and have a nice day. Bye.